Hello, Assalamualaikum. Uh, today, uh, I want to uh, discuss uh, about the vehicle actuated uh, traffic light system. So, uh, the system works like this. Uh, we set minimum time uh, for each approach and maximum time. So, let's say we set, in this case, we set uh, 10 seconds for phase 1, 10 seconds for phase 2, and 3 and 4 and maximum time 50 seconds so and then uh, at the uh, near the stop line uh, we put uh, like this uh, uh, we we, we uh, put uh, uh, what we call it uh, inductive loop to detect uh, vehicles uh, passing through uh, this this area so when vehicle detected uh, it will give uh, extra time let's see this one uh, uh, wait uh, just observe this one so this is the timing so when they detect one car it will add uh, more time eh? the same thing here uh, if uh, now again uh, because no car passing and then this one so when it detect uh, one car uh, it will give more uh, extra time eh? you can see this one this is the uh, uh, timing given so each time car a car or a vehicle passing through this area it will give uh, 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 extension of time until it reach the maximum time of 50 uh, second mm. so in this case up to 49 uh, no cars uh, uh, car passing through and it stop mm. I give rate same thing here and uh, so the uh, the uh, cycle time uh, is variable be de depend on the uh, uh, the volume uh, of uh, traffic hmm? so if more traffic passing through is more uh, uh, time will be given uh, for each intersection so it is very good because it is very fast uh, to adapt uh, to the new demand uh, but the problem is you cannot uh, uh, provide progressive flow uh, because the cycle time is not fixed and the starting of uh, phase one or phase two is not fixed, so quite difficult if you want to have a progressive flow. So the uh, uh, the basic theory uh, of this one, uh, yeah, something like this. Yeah, uh, I can stop this one first. Yeah, so I will give this one. Just wait for a few minutes. Yeah? Okay. So initially we give minimum time this one yeah uh, this one so when we have uh, one car passing through uh, the, the uh, inductive loop it will give it will give more time something like this and if one car detect uh, again another extension of time if another car detected here another extension of time until uh, at the end no car detected so uh, the green time will be stop here and then it move to the other approaches eh? but if yeah, if the car keep on detected until the end of the maximum time here so it will stop and will stop so that's the uh, uh, basic theory of vehicle actuated uh, system uh, it is uh, very famous for isolated intersection uh, that means uh, far from other intersection you don't need uh, you don't need uh, uh, coordination uh, between two or three intersection and the cost is quite cheap uh, because it is uh, just plan one uh, inductive loop at this uh, stop line. Uh, thank you very much.